the new news, she's slaying the city. No makeup, just wake up and still giving the free. Get the lights, camera, and she cuts as big as a movie. And grab a seat and now tune with disastrous beauty. Hello, folks. It's your girl, Disastrous Beauty, coming back with the voiceover. So the unit I will be reviewing today was sent to me by Beauty Forever Hair. Shout out to you, Beauty Forever, for sending me this unit. I really do appreciate it. The unit that I am rocking, as you guys can see from the cap construction, it does come with two columns in the front, one column in the back with adjustable straps, and it is a 13 by 4 HD lace wig. It is 24 inches long. It is in a texture of Jerry Curly, and it's 150% density. Now, if you're interested in any more details, specs, and other good stuff about this unit, then please continue to watch, and I will See you love bugs in the outro. Bye. then please continue to watch. Okay, y'all, so this unit was sent to me by Beauty Forever Hair. Shout out to you, Beauty Forever, for sending me this unit. I really, really do appreciate it. So the unit that I am rocking is their, sure, I lost the whole email. So the unit that I am rocking is their Jerry Curly 13 by four HD lace wig. I have it in 24 inches and it is 150% density. So right now I am going on the site just so I can get a, you know, a little peep at the wig. So what they have on their site is Beauty Forever pre plucked Jerry Curly 13 by six and 13 by four HD Swiss lace front wig, 100% virgin hair. Um, they do, as I stated, have this unit in 13 by four and 13 by six HD lace. I do have this unit in 13 by four and the densities that they have available are 150% and 180% as stated. I do have it in 150% density and the inches that they, the lengths, child, I'm talking about the inches. <laughs> the lengths that they have is a 14 inches to 24 and all of those are even numbers. And let me just see, can I find any more details? 
on this particular unit. Let's see description. So it says cap size. Okay, hold on, let me start it here. It says brand beauty forever color natural black lens 10 to 24, but I think I stated that it was 14. Yeah, it has 10 to 24 there, but maybe they're just out of stock in those lengths. Uh, but what they have available right now is 14 to 24 inches. The hair weight is 145 to 100, 250 grams. The cap construction is HD lace wig. Uh, the cap size that they have available is the average cap size. There are no other cap sizes available. And yeah, the rest is just basically blase, blase, blase. Okay, so it does say this unit is pre-tweezed and I did feel like it was pre-tweezed. Like there was a good little amount of space between the baby hairs and like the unit, you guys know what I'm talking about. Like I know that may sound crazy, but you know, if you're a wig wearer, then you know what I'm talking about. But I did decide to tweeze it a little more, especially just like in the front area where the baby hairs are, I did tweeze it a little bit more. Um, as far as shedding and tangling goes with this particular unit, I don't feel like this wig uh, sheds uh, a whole lot. Um, if it sheds at all. Now I wanna say a whole lot because I did tweeze the unit and then you have that, you know, that excess hair that always, <laughs> that I always have. So I'm not sure, cause like once I started applying product and stuff to this unit and I was combing it out, I was getting hair, but I'm not sure if that particular hair was from me tweezing it and it was just excess hair that was kind of left over or if the unit was shedding a little bit. Usually with a curly unit, I do get a little bit of shed. Nothing crazy, nothing to write home about, but I do typically get a little bit of shed. So either way, it wasn't a big deal for me because it wasn't excessive. Uh, it, so which made me think that it was probably more so from me tweezing it than not. Now, um, as far as it being big head friendly, I did adjust the straps of this unit. Um, my hair, I, I recently washed it and you know applied product, so I was able to kind of smooth my hair back and not do the ball cap method. I have seen people ask me, do you have to do the ball cap method? No, honey. Okay, I've done the ball cap method just because when I'm looking for a certain look, I think it looks better with the ball cap method. And I honestly thought about doing that particular look this time and I opted out just to kind of show you guys that you don't necessarily have to do it for your unit to look decent, okay? You can still make your unit look decent without doing the ball cap method. Because honey, if you like me, you ain't trying to go to nobody's beautician, okay? I don't have time to go to nobody's beautician. I don't even have any time to go to nobody's nail technician even though these dogs need my feet. Okay, never mind. I'm rambling. Come on, carry on, Chrissy. Get back on track. <laughs> okay, so yeah. Um, I wanted to just kind of show you guys that that wasn't necessary if you are not into doing all of that extra stuff. I get comments all the time about, oh God, that's too much work. Or -da -da. I get it, girl, because I am definitely one of those people. I'm always looking for an easy way to style a wig. And to me, when it comes to units, curly wigs are as easy as they come, honey, okay? So I want to just give you guys uh, and show you guys a way to do your hair without it being just feeling like heck of extra. Even though I did tweeze it, I don't feel like you necessarily have to tweeze this unit. Um, tangles, no. Like I, I brushed it out prior to applying my product to it and I, I would recommend you doing it with your curly units. I think it makes it a lot easier to kind of manipulate them and I actually got that from watching um, Natasha. Natasha is, I think is her channel name. Uh, she always would brush out her wigs, then apply the product, as well as, oh, so that's Mercedes. I've seen that she did that as well. So that's what I've been doing with my curlier units to just kind of brush them out and it makes them less tangly. So yeah, that is that as far as the details and specs go. Now, if you are interested in a lint check as well as how I feel about this unit and the products that I use, then please continue. Okay, so how do I feel about this unit? I am really, 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 really loving this unit. I think it is really nice. Like, I literally have no issues with it. Um, the hair, I actually applied the product, which was um, Aunt Jackie's... Uh, uh, curling gel or whatever it's called. I applied that as well as some water and some um, leave-in conditioner and that has been about oh about 45 minutes ago and now it's you know it's dry and this is like the look that I got so I really really love this look. I like the sort of glistening sort of look. If you don't want that look and you just kind of want big hair or don't care I would uh, suggest applying water and a little mousse to get that sort of vibe but I was kind of going for this vibe. This is the vibe. This is the vibe that I was going for and I achieved it. 
Um, Jerry curly hair is just like, has become one of my favorite curly textures. Like I love the Jerry curly units. I just feel like you can't go wrong with them in general. I just feel like they're our whole vibe and I'm feeling it. So let me know down below what you guys think. Like, do you think it's a vibe? Do you think it's a look? What you think, girl? But yeah, I, in general, I am definitely feeling this wig. If you are interested in it, I would def definitely recommend you guys click the link down below and check out Beauty Forever Hair. I also love about this unit that it is HD Lace. HD Lace is just great for my complexion. Um, a lot of times when it comes to my complexion and people that are lighter than me, I'm not like super, super light. Like, I don't know how I come off on camera, but I'm not just like crazy light. Like, I'm a regular black, light skin sort of person. You know, I'm not biracial. I'm not any of these things but when it comes to certain units they can just be too dark be from brown skin to like dark skin and it with my complexion sometimes it just doesn't look right because it's a little too dark and when something's a little too dark it can be really really hard to make it blend which is not a big issue for me because I feel like the majority of uh, black black women are brown skin to dark skin so it's not like a big deal to me I get it I get why they do it but it makes it a little hard to blend. You get what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> it makes it a little hard to blend when it's too dark. So I am really definitely feeling the HD lace unit. If you are my complexion, then you want to lean more towards the HD or transparent lace units. But if you are darker than me, then I feel like you can just get the regular units and say your coins, girl, because they're going to blend anyway and look fabulous. Okay, so that is just my non-expert opinion. That's what I've noticed with the different types of laces. So yeah, but I am definitely feeling this unit. I feel like it blends really, really nicely. Um, I am definitely feeling it and I would recommend it. Shout out to you, Beauty Forever, for this unit. I am feeling it. And yeah, so now I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a lint check and then we can wrap this thing up. Okay, so this is all of the hair brought to the front. Is it? Is it? This is the unit on the left side. This is it in the back. And this is it on the right side. So yeah, I am definitely feeling it. I would recommend it. Like definitely check this unit out. I think it is gorgeous, y'all. All right, just get you a Jerry Curly unit. It don't matter what length it is. Just get you one, girl. I don't think you would be disappointed. But yeah, I am feeling it. Once again, shout out to you, Beauty Forever. I will have a direct link to this unit down below in the description box for your convenience. And yeah, girl, we are done. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions or you feel like I may have left out, feel free to comment down below. And if you're not already subscribed, Click the subscribe button, sis. And if you're not ready to follow me on all my social media platforms, I am Disastrous Beauty on both IG and Facebook. I'm Heather Misty on Snapchat. I'm Disastrous B on Twitter. And I will see you, love bugs, next time.